we've got this massive retirement issue that's been going on. Of course. Which is yeah. which is justification for the Bank of England's move. Yeah, but absolutely. Yes. And that and I think that's something you've spoken about way in the past on one of okay. our interviews where we spoke about that. And that's a huge problem. You know, all these people the are I believe they're entitled to it. And they are. A lot of people have put a lot of cash into this. But look, the system is just it's it's illiquid. They don't have the money to pay. Uh, and uh, it's just coming apart in my view. In fact, that was the title of several one of my videos. It's coming apart. It really is coming apart. Mm -hmm. And if they don't get a handle on this soon, well, soon this whole thing is going to implode. Period. The end. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of when, whether it's going to be next week, tomorrow, a month from now. Keep your eyes on the global debt market. Uh, all the things that we're speaking about here. And you don't have if you listen to Lynette and Greg, you don't have to guess. All right. right. Uh, I think we take a lot of the get, you know, no one's going to be able to point at a time or a place or or, or, even, or whatever, but we can right. get close by, keep, first of all, keeping people prepared, letting them understand what's going on. Okay. That's humongous. Real, make them understand that where we're going, where central banks and so called governments are driving the world right now, and that none of this, in my view at least, and I would think you would agree, is by accident. No. You know, it's amazing how people that understand the markets, like you and I, see the same thing. You think that's by accident too? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I agree with you. And that's why you're sitting with the gold and the silver on your desk, because at least you hold your purchasing power. You know, we see who's going to be washed out. Right? And then you can go in and pick up bargains. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, most people are going to lose. It's, it's, it's always that way. Um, and it's, it's happening very fast on um, the, the destruction of the middle class, which has been a slow burn yes. for very, very, very many, many decades. But it's, yeah. it's, it's obviously accelerating. The, the, there's no such thing as a trickle down. It always goes up. The one and two percent is doing fantastic at the expense of everybody else. And there's no way to stop it. That's how the system is designed. The people at the lower rung, they're already done. Uh, the middle, they just, it's a wealth transfer effect, something you and I have spoken about uh, on, on a grand scale. Right. And it's really going to get going. Look, how I see this playing out is eventually that meltdown in the debt market is going to crush the stock market and then cash it doesn't grow money wings and just fly away to money heaven. It's going to go into commodities. And I think commodities are going to skyrocket to, uh, you know, on, on a grand scale when this thing really, really gets going uh, as, as the purchasing power of, of the currencies continues to just dissolve uh and and that isn't getting better anytime soon it's all about rates and rates and rates they're not telling people that the real issue here is the currency we're in a currency free fall we've been in the currency free fall it's a race to the bottom and it's it's going to get uh, progressively worse here i i Look, they've lulled people into some kind of sense of maybe things are going to get better, but they're not going to. And that's been my main thing for a very, very long time. Things are going to get worse. And I'm telling people right here and now that are listening to this, they haven't seen anything yet. Nothing. This is the opening act. Right. Well, I don't even know if we're in the opening act yet, but it's going to get much, much worse. Just be ready, like I said, every way you can and get together with like-minded like people in your community that you can rely on in a worst case yeah. scenario. Look, if we don't get a worst case scenario, fantastic. But if we do, at least you're ready for it. And that's important. K kind of hard to imagine that we're not, especially when you have, you know, the IMF and the Federal Reserve and the Treasury and the BIS all telling you to get prepared for a crisis. And yeah, energy... especially when you have the Federal Reserve saying they don't care how right. bad they hurt the economy. You had Evans yesterday, Fed President Evans. Oh, we don't care. We're gonna we're gonna do. We don't care if people lose their jobs. That's right. what he said. Really, you yeah. wouldn't care if it were your job, sir. Right. But everybody else don't matter. That should tell people something. Honestly, it was a pretty big eye opener for me. They don't. They get to the point. They're getting so brazen oh. that they don't care anymore. They're like, screw you, screw your family and everybody else. We're just going to destroy you because that's what we're really out to do. And you know, we got a little bit of truth yesterday from them. They don't care at all. Yeah. They're, they're working towards their goal and they're not going to stop. And, and the funny thing is, is they admit that they can't really stop this inflation. All they can do is destroy demand, demand destruction. That's and along exactly, with it, I'm so happy you brought that up because that's what they're doing. 
It's demand destruction deliberately crushing the global economy here. And people are already suffering on an unbelievable scale here. They can't get by. They can't make ends meet like we were talking about at the beginning here. Right. Savings rates and the negative borrowing beyond their eyeballs just to survive. And now you have central banks saying, hey, we're going to make it a lot harder for you. Oh, imagine that. But that's what they're doing by design. It's You don't even have to guess. They're telling you. <laughs> It's true. And the oh. other thing that is like driving me crazy when it comes to energy, right? You know, you've got the Middle Eastern currencies that are pegged to the US dollar. If they make that choice to depeg, which they've certainly been going in that direction mm. and leaning more toward China uh, as far as buying all their petrol and, and accepting you on for it. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, what kind of impact do you think that might have on the uh, U.S. dollar? And we come out and say, oh, you bad people. I mean. You, you, want, you, want, you want, want to tell you, I'm, I'm going to write it down. Uh, and it's, it's very simple. It's three letters. You probably know what they are already. Are you ready? This is where, if that happens, and you can expect this. Yeah. 100%. On a grand scale. Forget about what we're seeing now. 100%. Because that's what they're going to do. Uh, there's just no doubt about it here, uh, and they'll they'll sacrifice it. They'll spill blood and guts and lives all over the world uh, to look. Why is it, for example? Let, let, let's back up a moment. What is? You know the answer to this, but I'm just going to say I'm going to pose this as a question yeah. here. What is the United States' biggest export? Well, you know the answer, and the answer is pretty clear. It's inflation. We we we. we the reason why, and I said this just yesterday or the day before, inflation is, is bad here. It's surging in other parts of the world worse. Mm -hmm. We're going to get hit with it last because, again, U.S. dollar being the world reserve. If that becomes threatened in any way, they'll kill whoever they have to kill, as many people as they have to kill. You will see an expansion of war on, on an unbelievable scale, in my view. The, the, the amount of lives that have already been sacrificed for the fiat monetary system, the petrol dollar, which made the U.S. dollar the world reserve currency, is unbelievable. And they will not stop. And unfortunately, the Federal Reserve has, because of the existence of the petrol dollar system, has the backing of the U.S. military, all of it, including right. its nuclear arsenal. People don't know that. Even people who are in the, the military don't know that. I was a lieutenant in the Navy, and I used to tell people this stuff. They had no clue. They're like, no, we don't. The U.S. military is not mandated to protect oil of OPEC nations. Oh, yes, oh, they yes, are. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, and that's how the U.S. dollar keeps its reserve status. If that ever gets threatened, seriously, who knows what they'll do? Uh, other than destroying the lives of whoever they have to and uh, millions of people.